we want to find the first four terms of this sequence. And this little <coughs> equation right here is giving me how I get my first number, my second number, my third number. So I want to substitute one into this equation, two into this equation, that'll give me my second one, plug three in, that's going to give me my third one, and so on. So I'm going to take my equation and replace the n with one. Okay, then we want to find the answer to the exponent first. One minus one is zero. So this is now going to be to the zero power. Then the next thing we want to do following PEMDAS is we want to do exponents before multiplication. Anything to the zero power is equal to one. There's still a times negative six out front. And negative six multiplied by one is negative six. So that's my first one. Okay, then we want to find the next one. So I'm going to plug two into this same little equation. So I'm going to replace the n and the exponent with the number two. I'm going to find the answer to the exponent. Two minus one is one. Then I want to do the exponents next, five to the first power. Anything to the first power is itself, so it's just five. We still have times negative six. And negative six multiplied by five is negative 30, and that's my next one. So then, moving on, I want to plug in three. So I come in, I replace the n in the exponent with the number three. Three minus one is two. Find the answer to the exponents next. Exponents before multiplication. Five squared means five times five, so that's 25. <coughs> Bring down the negative six, and negative six multiplied by 25 is negative 150. Okay, and then the next one, last one, because it just wanted the first four terms, so we have the first three terms. The last one, it doesn't say, it says dot, 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 but to get the fourth one, we're going to plug in four. So replacing the n with four, find the answer to the exponent. Four minus one is three. Then evaluate five to the third power before we multiply. So five times five is 25, and 25 times five is 125. Bring down the times negative six, multiply those together, and I get negative 750, and I have the first four terms. Okay, one more quick example. I have this equation, and again, I just want the first four terms. So I'm going to replace the n with 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So if I substitute in for the n, I put in 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Exponents first. Any number to the 0 power, even though it's negative, anything to the 0 power is 1. So that's 1. And then in front of this, I still have times seven, and seven times one is seven. Okay, the next term, like okay, this time let's replace the n with two. Find the answer to the exponent. Two minus one is one. Anything to the first power is itself, so negative two to the first is negative two. We've also got the times seven, and then seven times negative two, a positive times a negative is negative. So we have negative 14. Okay, then this next one, replace the exponent this time with three. Three minus one, find the answer to the exponent, I get two. Negative two squared means negative two multiplied by negative two. The shortcut remembers if you have an even amount of negatives, your final answer is positive. If an odd amount of <coughs> negatives, you have a negative. So negative two times negative two is positive four mistake in there, positive four, and then seven times four is going to be 28. Okay, last one, let's replace the um, n with four for the fourth one. Four minus one, my exponent is three. This means exponents before multiplication, so negative two times negative two times negative two. That's three negatives, odd amount, so my answer is negative. And two times two is four times two is eight. So this is negative eight. Bring down the times seven. 
And then a positive times a negative is a negative, and seven times eight is 56. So we have negative 56, and we've listed our four terms.